Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the daily vlogs and back to my bedroom where I'm not editing my video at the moment because this is the first vlog back since Portugal. And I know I said yesterday or two days ago in YouTube terms that I am going to be getting a new camera for the vlogs, which I'm really excited about. I haven't actually got down to it just yet. It's Monday morning, time's around half past eight. And today I'm really excited about how many supercars I'm expected to see today. What I'm not excited about is the fact that the weather is raining. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm out and about. And as you can see, this weather, slightly different to what I was experiencing in Portugal. The other thing is because I don't have a car, I'm using my feet to get to a train station so that I can head up towards the Milton Keynes area. Now, today I don't particularly know too much about it because it was all being organized whilst I was away. All I know is there's gonna to be tons of supercars and the chances of me seeing a Koenigsegg today are highly likely. So I've got my video camera in my backpack, as you can see here, um, and <coughs> I'm hopefully just gonna film as much as possible, whether that's the supercars that are there, I think there's Lamborghini, Jaguar, Aston Martin, I'm not sure whether Ferrari are there, but the idea today for me is to just try and get as much content as I can. So typical Monday morning back in England and it's raining and it's a supercar day up at Millbrook that I'm going to. So there's two things that can happen. One, it's too wet for the horsepower to really get down onto the track, which will make the uh, supercar rides that hopefully I'll be going on today a little bit tame or the drivers could still go for it and we could be getting some power slides, some burnouts, and maybe some wiggles from the back end. So I'm quite excited about today. Um, and fingers crossed we get some good content for the vlog. Getting off at the next train station. The trains are boring. Are now approaching Bletchley. Please take trains are boring. Stepping from the train. But quick. Oh yeah. Right, so I've got off at Bletchley. Turns out that the next train takes about an hour, but 20 minutes in the car. So I'm going to meet up with um, a couple of guys that I'm going to this event with. Um, they're about half an hour away, so. It's so a half an hour wait and then a 20 minute drive, so it's still the same as the train, but I prefer to go in the car rather than the train. We have arrived at the Castro Edge Millbrook Circuit in the pouring rain, but supercars everywhere. We've got a Veyron and a 1-1, Koenigsegg 1-1 up there. Spotted a Schmi 150 over here. I'm gonna creep up on him. Um, and basically, I'm too young to drive these cars, so I'm a passenger. Tim. Hello. Hello. I was Are just you enjoying the weather. Yeah. Well, I was just saying that I'm too young to drive the cars anyway. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I, as soon as as soon as he said it was 25, I was like, oh, Paul. Yeah, I'm hello. having fun. Hello, Tim. <laughs> this rain is all over my phone. Oh, there's a guy filming over here. So we've got all of the cars around here, and we've got some other cars here. A bit LP640. I think it's actually a Merch Lago with an LP640 front bumper. But the event are always looks cool. Oh, getting pelted by drizzle. What we care about most of Castro is one thing and one thing only. Um, uh, cool looks, 
the detachable heart rock that you can stow in the front. And actually that's how our cars still look today, 21 years later. That concept really stuck and that's worked well. But it was a long journey. It took me eight years to go from the, the day I said, I'm gonna do this until I could deliver the first car. So we've had a couple of talks now and we're waiting to find out. I think we're waiting to find out what cars we're gonna be going out in. I have no idea whether it's pre-selected or not. We've got all of the lunch stuff going on here. We've got the um, Bloodhound Jaguar F-Type that was at Goodwood. And there's also an Aston Martin Vulcan behind as well. And then all of the cars that are outside in that circle that you saw pretty early on, um, that's all, they're the cars that are gonna be going for drive. So I'm not sure what the plan is because I'm only doing passenger rides and not driving them but I've never been to Millbrook before, so I'm gonna try and find out what the list is, see what cars I'm going out in. You can't feel what yeah. going around Millbrook, this is not pointing to the tube. Oh, here we go. Where to head it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Good to meet you. <laughs> Excellent. And that was the quickest ride in a Koenig Z11 I've ever had. First experience of a Koenig Z. Catch up in a bit. So that is definitely the worst bit of content I've ever done. I just went out in a Koenig Z11. Not allowed to film outside, inside, pointing at me, pointing out. Absolutely nothing, which I am uh, pretty annoyed about, bearing in mind that I'm vlogging, I'm here to film. So um, unfortunately you guys didn't get to see that, all you got to see was me getting in the car and then me walking away from the car, which um, is quite frustrating. So, <laughs> Tim has now got two fluorescent jackets over as he puts his hairnet on, making sure that there's no cameras facing out. We've managed to wiggle our way so that we can film. Tim's going out in the one one, and then after Tim, it's me, and hopefully, I'm gonna be able to film. Take two, ladies and gentlemen. I'm now going back in the car with a GoPro so that we can record. There goes an Aston. So that we can record the interior as we go for a cruise in the Koenigsegg like one one with a net hair thing on. Super cool. So now, for some time, my head has been squashed in this helmet with this silly hair now. I've waited about 45 minutes and the car has not returned and I'm just falling over holes and we're wondering whether the car is actually coming back at all or whether they've stolen it. Look who I have found down in Millbrook. What are you doing? You're driving the Hurricane. I'm driving the Hurricane. I'm in the Hurricane today. I'm really busy and I haven't been around for a while because obviously I'm not a celebrity like yourself. <laughs> um, so, uh, so I do feel privileged to be in your presence and I'm glad that you took all this time to come and see me. You're going to yeah. go in the Koenigsegg again in a minute. Trying to. I'm trying to get out in the Koenigsegg. There's a bit of a problem out there. We've been waiting about 50 minutes or so. 50 minutes. And you're apparently not taking out. I'm taking people out in the in the Hurricane all day. I'm the busiest because it is the best self drive car in the world. It is cool. And it's obviously me that's going to be in charge of it because I'm the primary velocity man. Yeah, of course. But the Koenigsegg has broken down, which is strange because they're no driver. They are indeed. And uh, we've got. I'm not, really sure, I'm not really sure whether we were supposed to say that it's broken down. Or not. No, it's fine. I might cut it. I'll just cut it out. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's doing really well. It's fine. It's yeah, I think it's, I think it's well. flying out there. I think <laughs> it's just hitting out. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere out there. <laughs> But anyway, good but anyway, to see you, James. Good to see you too, matey. I've um, got to go off and do some, some important stuff now, and you've got a, a hairnet to wear, so. <laughs> this is the best car here, and it's inside. So my phone's plugged in, but you can see the 4GT behind 
absolutely amazing and first time that I've been reunited with it, not in a box at Goodwood. My hair's all over the place because of the helmet that I was wearing for about 50 minutes until um, we were told that the Koenigsegg is stuck out of Millbrook. So we're now just going to be chilling out. I think we're going to be heading home and hitching a lift with Tim in the infamous BMW X6 and I'm sure he's going to tell me all about it on the way home. So I'll get as much of I can, as much as I can in the vlog. And we're also going to be hitting McDonald's for dinner. Can't get through because the car's so big. Yeah, so welcome to the X6 M50D. The luxury, the comfort. Look at that widescreen. It's big. And this Hold is all digital as well. This is a nice oh, yeah. big screen, which That's you can cool. put in different modes. It's bigger than my <laughs> 6 Plus. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. I don't know how I'm going to get away with the um, copyrights of the music. I'm just going to talk over the way in Burger King. A slow, dreary drive home. And unfortunately, that is the end of the first vlog of the second part of the summer. <laughs> what what a way part to. Of the it's yeah. going to be a big second it's part. It's going to be summer. a huge. <laughs> right, I mean, we've been up at. Mil uh, Millbrook, yeah, Millbrook. Yeah, first time I've been there. Wasn't what I was expecting. Obviously, there was a few hiccups and a few organisational problems with the one one, and also it was just not what we were expecting. But that's all I'm going to say. Whilst we were there, Pagani Waira, Cinque Roadster, Enzo F12 arrives over from Dubai. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the weather is like this. So we're holding off from going into London tonight and um, I'm going to aim to go towards the end of the week but I need to organise a set of wheels and Tim has obviously got that sorted down to a T driving an <laughs> X6 in the rain on the motorway Chilled out, nice and Nailed it. Super quiet, super quiet and super comfy there's never been a W But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching um, and I will see you tomorrow as the daily vlogs continue I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow but it's all <laughs> part of the vlog, fun of the daily vlogs Thanks for watching guys and head over to Shmi150. Don't know whether you're gonna make a video from today. I don't know. I don't know. If not today, something else. <laughs> yeah, but cheers, see you later. OT. How many attempts did it take you to pass your theory and practical driving test, or did you pass them both first time? Passing your driving test is obviously a very, 